Precision timing is critical in many sectors. We use it to navigate with GPS and to synchronize the traffic of our phones. With a portable atomic clock, our communication could go faster and we could navigate without the need of a GPS. Let's see why today we are a step closer to this and come with me. What we did is to improve the part of the clock responsible for counting, about 40 times above the state of the art. And this is key in replacing the current generation of GPS technologies in the next 20 years. Optical atomic clocks lose less than one second every 10 billion years. Currently though, they're massive devices weighing hundreds of kilograms. We need something much more compact that can be integrated in a chip as small as this one. If you want to beat the clock, the first thing that you need to set is a precise reference which dictates its ticking. Think, for example, of the pendulum of a cuckoo clock. In an atomic optical clock, the reference is set by the electromagnetic oscillations of an atom confined in a small chamber. The challenge, however, is that these oscillations are extremely fast, more than one trillion per second. How can you count so fast? Well, the solution is using a regular train of laser pulses, which is called the frequency comb. The frequency comb acts as a reduction gear for the optical clock to get to a reasonable speed that can be counted more easily. As part of the UK quantum technology program here at Sussex, we are developing a technology to produce a comb with a device we call the micro resonator which is a tiny ring of glass with a section of a micron, different from standard lasers, which can produce light only of a particular color. Here, only a small piece of glass can, in principle, produce all the colors we want by mixing photons together. This seems unusual, and we normally do not experience it. The trick here is to confine the light in a tiny volume, like the glass cavity. Microcombs are based on special waves called cavity solitons. Solitons are very robust waves. Tsunami, for instance, are water solitons, and they can travel for incredible distances without being perturbed. After the earthquake in Japan of 2011, some of those tsunamis reached the coast of California. Instead of using water, in our experiment, we use pulses of light confined in a small ring of glass. Cavity solitons take their energy from a reservoir wave. Standard approaches require a huge reservoir. So for old microcombs, was like using a big surf wave to keep alive a soliton as big as the surfboard. The efficiency of those systems was below 5%. By placing the glass ring inside a fiber laser, which is the same kind as used to bring internet into our homes, we can eliminate the reservoir wave, keeping the soliton alive with the energy of the laser. Technically, this kind of pulse is called a laser cavity soliton. Here at the Major Photonics Lab, with our colleague at Sussex, we are developing all the bits and pieces to produce portable atomic clocks. Think about atomic clock can actually fit your laptop or even your mobile phone. Think about a self-driving car, self-aware of their position in the world. And this is the future we are working on now.